Yo, what's good, boys? Kozo here, and I just want to do a really quick tutorial on how to do my flicker effect. So, uh, let's just get into it. First, you guys are going to want to go open up a new project. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Tut. You can just create that. And you can go to the edit tab. You're just going to want to drag in your clip and your uh, song. I'm just going to use a random song. Uh, make sure you... Actually, first... Yeah. First, let's go to your settings. And uh, you're going to want to go to custom. Make that 250. Ah, 2560 sorry and 1440 and then you want to make the frame rate 60 and save that you can change that and then then you're going to want to uh, add in your music and clip i'm just going to use a random one that i have here um here uh we can use this song real quick let's drag that in oh this is good to you. right there save the beat check that down sync that up with that check that and honestly you can just fade it in uh, actually i want to make this a little bit shorter don't want it that long and you can just fade it all in do whatever you need to do drag that down and it should be all synced up all right and uh next we're gonna just do the velocity real quick you wanna sorry click on your clip you can unlink that and then hit ctrl r at a speed point right there on the marker where the kill is and then you want to go you're gonna want to go uh seven frames backwards one two three four five six seven at a key frame at a speed point and then go three frames backwards one two three at a speed point and you want to just open it up a little bit you're gonna make the first one 50 and the second one 400 you want to go on the kill and go two frames back drag the marker over there drag that up and then go one two three four five frames forward at a key speed point and then change this to uh, honestly it's it depends on how your clip looks you can make it 150 200 400 any of those three if you want uh normally i do 400 but if you do 400 you might want to just drag it up a little bit and then you can change the last one to 50 and it should look like this there you go and there you go that's uh the velocity it's really quick and simple <clears throat> Okay, so next you're going to want to add the impact. You're going to want to drag an adjustment clip over the kill. And we can just make it go up. Now, cut the ISS. Go to the start of the adjustment. Go to open infusion page. Go to uh, the drive I have linked in the description with the impacts and all the stuff that I use in the tutorial. You want to drag in the main lens blur impacts. By the way, many of these impacts I got from uh, Felides or Felidize video, so you guys can check him out. Uh, link to his channel will be in the description. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and oh, once that loads in, there you go. Go back to the edit page. You're gonna wanna go to open FX, type in BCC lens blur, and it should pop up. There you go. You can drag that onto the adjustment clip, go to it. It's not working. That's weird. Oh, I don't think it went on. Oh, wait, wait. That's a dis. Okay, okay. Okay. There you go. <laughs> My bad. And there you go. You can, you're going to drag that on to the adjustment clip. Go to effects and add a keyframe at the starts change that first one to 14.5 and next you're, wanna, you're gonna want to open a fusion page on the adjustment clip and then go, you can go over here and just go uh, maybe 20 or 30 frames I'm gonna go 25 and I'll go back to the edit page <clears throat> and you can make that now zero and there you go you have your impact and now if you want you can add a little build up let's go here you can that you wanna you're gonna wanna open a feature page on that one and make that 20 go to 20 frames 
there you go and just split it right there you don't need that drag that down and connect it with the impact open a fusion page at the start go back to the drive and drag in the build up 20. there you go connect that so it should already be good good to go never had a problem with it render cache color output render cache color output and rash color render cache OFX filter and BCC lens blur and if you don't see any like lines or sorry I don't know how to explain it go to playback and render cache and smart and I used to see uh, red lines once that turns blue it means it, uh, it's fully rendered and uh, now if you want you can go to generator you can add a solid color and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten frames back and then split right there that should be 30 frames long and you're gonna want to just fade that out and then click on it go to settings and change the opacity to 55 Ooh, 55 oh my god <clears throat> yep 55 there we go and that should be all set up for you i'm not gonna really add any sound effects i'll leave some sound effects that i normally use in the drive but i'm not gonna do it right now just for time's sake i don't want to make this way too long but the sound effects are pretty simple okay so now we're gonna just do a flicker and that'll be it you're going to want to now split the audio right there on the kill so this is uh one of the main reasons why it took me so long to do this tutorial it's honestly it's kind of weird to explain how i do the sound effect because like you kind of got to be creative with it some videos it sounds different for us so you just gotta kind of play with it i do it differently for like each video i do it on like, yeah okay uh so once you're on the kill you're gonna want to go one two frames forward maybe you can honestly play around with it go one frame forward two three depends on the sound then what you're trying to get oh sorry you're gonna want to go you're gonna want to go yeah backwards it depends where you want the sound effect but actually cut on the kill sorry i'm losing my brain cells go back two frames or whatever it is that you want and just keep doing this for as long as you want i'm gonna go all the way up to the build up uh the build up and right there you can uh just honestly delete everything in the middle yep just delete that and see how it sounds yeah and that sounds pretty all right you can maybe delete one more there you go okay so uh lastly huh okay you don't want to go to video transitions that should honestly sound pretty good if you guys can hear it it sounds decent but if it doesn't sound that good for you just play around with it and it'll sound all right eventually and actually this one more thing you're gonna to want to do the same thing for the clip just split it on the spots where you split the audio so honestly do the audio first and then do the clip just in case you have to change up anything on the audio but just keep doing that there you go there and then you can just delete everything here deletes now you'll have the nice flicker effect you're gonna want to go to transitions and you can add a nice cross dissolve on this all right hold on you can hmm you can do that oh do that and then hit Control t that should add a nice little effect right there little flicker yep and you can do the same thing for the audio do this with the transitions so do that hit Control t that should sound good you can do it at the ends right here if you want but honestly play around with it so i didn't want to do the tutorial but people have still been asking for it so i didn't want to just not do it 
Play around with it. Let's see what you get. Yeah, I'm gonna let that render and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after that. Okay, so uh it's all full Okay, so uh it's fully rendered now and this is what it should look like. Yeah. Yeah, this looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's basically how you do it. If you guys want, I'll show you how to add the little muffled effect that I do. Some people have been asking for that as well. So first you wanna click on the audio, go to equalizer, make sure that's checked. And then go to band one and band four, make this. 65 and make this 1k and yeah yep that just sound good and you can just fade it out at the end there you go <laughs> that's how you do it uh let me know if you guys want some more tutorials and i'll see you guys later uh yeah.